Coming up. Keep your distance. Enemies of the board. Get to running, friend. He'll be looking for you. Whoa, now. You can rest now, boy. Okay, buddy. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius. So we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you? Some kind of European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> they won the silver tongue American betray and, and not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. Ah! Ways I cannot see. 
Still, the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> Enchanté! Hello, hello, sir. <laughs> okay, uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Mm. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stooly. I watch them conspire, you morons. I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it. And I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make them nasty explosion if they touch the boat. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Watch the mind. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the H.L. Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in the box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. Transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. It's a small boat. Those mines are not so small. Torpedoes do not have so much range. I am an invisible wave engineer, not a rocket physicist. Hey, that one's gone too. You see what stupid man does? To the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. <laughs> Let me just reload. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now, the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of the pond. Still avoiding magnetic mines. No, oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk.
Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of the Still avoiding magnetic lights. No, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course. But what a thing to fund. What an opportunity. No one is stupid enough to pass this up. Not even Dimwit here. Hey, they really want to work on your stuff. The rules the seas. Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Even little boats can sink, okay? Please. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well... This is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <clears throat> I hope you will forgive my European coarseness in the Balkans. We are a memberless people, but we work hard. Seen Gavin. I don't even know what he looks like. Big bloke. Cockney. Londoner. Hilarious. <laughs> oh, we've had such times, me and Gav. <laughs> nope, sorry. I've yet to meet any hilarious Londoners. Oh, he's the best. Gavin! I am so worried. Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! Where are you? Where are you? Just when I think I've done everything.
you, kind sir. Will you help the poor? I show kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um... My mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. That's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. But saint -Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. I'd really appreciate it if you Hi there. Be there. Working three jobs to stay in the Warner. Well, hey, it's partner. been a little while, eh? Oh, what do you have for me? All right, let's have a look. Quite like wearing your best day's work. I bet you know how to warm some biscuits. This wind makes it impossible to work outside. You gotta watch your hat. Hunt, but not so many know their way around a needle and thread. It's good business, I'm telling you. Every pelt is a little different. You'll find them nowhere else. Fresh fruit and vegetables here. Young bucks have it easy down here in the south. I once tracked a bad-tempered moose four days across an ice sheet just to eat a square meal. Thanks. Hey, fellas. Good evening. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. Looking for anything in particular? A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please, 
they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Hay alguien ahí? Hello, por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Help, please. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Por favor. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. Brother... Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment for your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Buy me a drink, mon ami. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Mm. I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, old ass. Mm. Asshole? Mm. 
That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to the salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles. You know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art is for idiots. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Eh? You know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. If no one else will buy me a drink, I will go. What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor, over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. Hey. But for shine, well... I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of to do shine? It. Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for a good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. <coughs> hey, mister. Howdy, Hello, partner. mister. Who's this, then? Stay. Okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? I am. I sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back chat? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. Well, that ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. <laughs> yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? 
Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Are you looking for that fellow's wagon? Keep winding Thanks. people up like that, you're gonna get a whooping. Hello, mister. Partner. Doctor friend of mine lost his wagon. You all ain't seen it, have you?
doctor. Yep. Look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. Nor you, for that matter. Only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. Well, I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. <laughs> 